back in behind their own goal. With 19-12 to go in the first period, no score. Idaho setting up in a 1-2-2, pretty wide neutral zone trap here. It's a steal behind the net, playing far oh. side. What a save by Shane Starrett as he went all left wing side. They come inside the Thunder blue line. Broussard will stop on the left wing wall. It's played across the zone. Yuli spinning at the top of the far circle. Now he tries to play it across near side. Parizic shoots, he scores as he beats Shane Starrett to the blocker side on a one-timer. And Idaho takes a one nothing lead. And again, another day. The line, they work it to the near side. Justin Parizic moving it across. Back to the slot. Jefferson Dalt to the far post. Centering feed. Another chance. Rebound in front. And they score again. And that is Brady Brassart finding a loose puck. And it's quickly 2 0 Neal heads have it still in the offensive zone. They are on the far boards. Now to the near side corner. It's Parizic with possession. He'll get around. The pick at the blue line. Here's Parizic in. Puck is fired on net, and it goes through Shane Sterrett. And this is quickly a 3-0 hockey game in favor of Idaho. And now you might want to consider that. And he couldn't get the shot through. And it's stolen by Idaho. And now the other way in a two-on-one. Yuli's got a man wide open to the net, and a shot is oh, stopped there by Shane Sterrett once again. What a That got deep. You, I mean, you, you want to take chances. You still have... You know, 45 minutes to play. Don't be taking too much of a chance here. They're missing Tommy oh, Thompson. Right off the faceoff, Zach Bell and Dyson Stevenson. Stevenson took a right. Then he gets one at the side of the head, uppercut. Bell throws a couple of wild shots. Another right shot. Stevenson absorbs some big right hands there from Bell. And now they just exchange punches back and forth. And now the two of them sizing each other up as Dyson's trying to get that right arm free. Dyson being held kind of on the collar there, Rob, there by Zach Bell. Yeah, a little bit of a height and weight advantage there to Zach Bell over Dyson Stevenson, but uh, Kademi's playing back on the point with Jeremy Beaudry. Off the draw, Kademi looking for a shooting lane. Back to Beaudry. Across to the middle of the ice. Here's Bly. Rebound. That was blocked. It's still loose. And this is going to be cleared by Beaudry as the Steelheads somehow found the loose puck and kept that out of the net. And that will do it for the first period. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that got through the net or somebody blocked. Yuli to the far faceoff dot. Parizic, top of the left wing circle, steps into a wrist shot. And he beats, Tra or excuse me, Shane Sterrett to the glove side and scores. And this is quickly a 4 nothing game. The Steelheads are 3 for 4 on the man advantage. And I'm not sure that didn't hit something on the way. Took a cross check as he gets knocked down of the ice. Dufour behind the net, out to the blue line for Crevier Moran. Moran got a piece of his man. Here's Dufour in front, shoots, he scores! Kevin Dufour across the... Coming out to hit him, but he just laid his shoulder him. And Dufour was able to get that puck coming across the middle. Uh, it did get the... Can't get to Lulu's puck. It's stolen by Brown, and now a two on two. Here with Bowery, steps away from a man up the left wing side. He'll take a wrist shot, he scores! Short-handed goal, Travis Brown. The Thunder cut the lead to two. That's huge, that's a huge goal and a great read by, he's able to read the play, picks up the puck back at his own blue line. Kind of a little hesitation there as Lane Bauer was available in the slot. There by Sterry, couldn't handle the rebound, it's still loose. And then Wichita's Nick Lotta got dumped on the far faceoff. Down another shot there on the far circle from Mike Neville. And the Steelheads make it 5-2. to two. Just right at the end of that uh, power play, too. So. First side of the ice. Idaho has possession. There's a long outlet pass. And now Broussard on a potential breakaway. Coming back defensively. Here's a shot on net to save Sterrett. Rebound there near the side of the goal. Somehow... Off the faceoff, here's a long outlet pass, a Wanak in, and he fires a shot that goes right in to DeRosier, and now we get some pushing and shoving after the whistle, as Faust grabs Travis Awanek from behind. Awanek's trying to skate back behind the net. He wants a piece of the steel head, and now he drops his gloves, and I believe they were going to let him go, and now the linesman step between them, and now Awanek goes after him, and starts throwing some right hands to Aaron Harstad. And the referees won't let him go. Yeah, I'm not sure why not there. They, you know, they had willing participants let him let him finish it out. Trying to get that off of his stick. And now here's Pushkar up the left wing side. Pushkar drop pass. McMillan in. He oh. missed the shot just wide. He was trying to. And we're going to go. get a fight right off the draw. Wanick 
This is what we saw earlier. Harstad, Harstad, Harstad. Yeah. And they keep throwing after the linesman trying to jump in as Harstad dragged down a Wanak to the ice, and they are still trying to go after each other. There's some bad blood here. I wouldn't be surprised to see them, uh, how important they are in, uh, in all aspects of the game. Van Stralen had trouble with the puck, and now he steals coming in. Here's Van Stralen all the way to the net, and he just missed that to the You know, you play five games in six days, then you go on the road, as now we're going to have another tilt. There we go again. Right off Same the faceoff with guys. Awanek and Harstead. Awanek tries to lean in, lands a couple of rights. So he hit the back of his helmet. Harstead is kind of leaning back, trying to get that right free, looking for a chance to throw an uppercut. And he lands one to Awanek as he knocks his helmet off. A couple of body shots from Awanek as they trade punches. Uh, Travis tries to bull rush him, an uppercut from Harstad. Another one there, Harstad, and he pulls him down. A spirited tilt between those two. And now it's Corbin Baldwin who took a little bump from Stevenson. He got spun down in the corner, three to go in the period. The Thunder backing off and will let the timer run out as the Steelheads jump out to a 4 0 lead and hold off Wichita here tonight by the final score of 5-2. Yeah.